the given expression is equal to sine of pi upon 18 times sine of 5 pi upon 18 times sine of 7 pi upon 18. Now since pi is equal to 180 degrees, this can be written as sine of 10 degrees times sine of 50 degrees times sine of 70 degrees. Multiplying and dividing by 2, this can be written as half of sine 10 degrees times in brackets 2 times sine of 70 degrees times sine 50 degrees. The term inside the brackets can be written as cos of 70 minus 50 minus cos of 70 plus 50. Therefore, the value of the given expression is equal to half of sine 10 degrees times in brackets cos of 20 degrees minus cos of 120 degrees. Now, cos of 20 degrees is equal to 1 minus 2 times sine square 10 degrees and cos of 120 degrees is equal to minus half. Therefore, the value of the given expression is equal to half of sine 10 degrees times in brackets 3 upon 2 minus 2 times sine square 10 degrees. This can be rewritten as 1 upon 2 times sine 10 degrees times in brackets 3 minus 4 times sine square 10 degrees divided by 2 which is equal to 1 upon 4 times in brackets 3 times sine 10 degrees minus 4 times sine cube 10 degrees. Now recall that sine of 3 theta is equal to 3 times sine theta minus 4 times sine cube theta. Put theta is equal to 10 degrees and note that the right hand side is equal to the expression in the square brackets above which is therefore equal to sine of 3 times 10 degrees which is sine 30 degrees which is equal to half. Plugging in this result the value of the given expression is equal to 1 upon 4 times half which is equal to 1 upon 8.